Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to explain how the app service plans work. So before app service plans were introduced, the live on Azure was easy. You just create a web app and you could scale this app either by adding instances or changing the size of the instance. Uh, and it, this was applied only for one particular app, either web app, mobile app, API app, or logic app. Now, once we introduce app service plans, your web app or logic app or API app or mobile app are part of the service plan. And you, for example, in standard app service plan, you can put up to 10 different apps. It can be web apps, it can be mobile apps, it can be a mix of both, doesn't matter. And then these apps are hosted within a number of instances you will scale your app service plans. So for example, here I have my JG09 web app, which is my blog, jg09.net. If I go here and in the settings, I'll search for scale. You can see here it's scale up or scale out and it says app service plan. Okay, because I'm not actually scaling the web app, I am actually scaling my app service plan. So if I click scale out, and you can see here I have just one instance. Uh, I can set up auto scaling. Uh, let, let, let's see, I'll add auto scaling from one to three, and I will do it from 60 to 80. So that means if uh, CPU is over 80%, then add an instance. If the CPU is below 60, remove one instance if I have more than one. So I will save that. And this will apply to entire app service plan. And uh, if I click here, this is my app service plan. So you can see I have eight apps here and I can click on it and I can find out what apps I have. So this is my JG09 web app. And here I have some API apps. And here I have another web app. So I have in total eight apps, but I have only one instance for all eight apps, okay? So now, you know, if I would like to have my web app to scale from one to 10, the only web app, I would have to put it in separate app service plan because here all these apps can occupy like up to 10, right? So for example, if uh, my JG09 blog has heavy load, it might take like six instances and all other apps might take only one or maybe even half of one of uh, the blog instances. Um, so uh, this is better from pricing perspective because you pay only for this app service plan. You pay uh, some, something around $30 per month and you can have up to 10 web apps or mobile apps or API apps or logic apps here. Back in days when you wanted to create next standard app, you had to pay extra $30. So here you can uh, save a lot of money because uh, usually you want to have, for example, standard app to take advantage of stuff like alerts or web jobs or other features that are not available in free pricing tiers. So if you want to learn more about Azure App Service Plans, uh, there is a nice documentation article. Uh, you, you can Google it, uh, Azure App Service Plan, it should be the first result on Google or here, here's the link. Uh, and, and here's explained how you create up service plans, how, how you add apps, how you move apps between service plans, uh, or, or even how you can clone the app from one app service plan to clone it to the other app service plan to have the same app in two app service plans. Uh, and also the scaling is uh, also explained here. So uh, if you have any questions or suggestions about the Azure portal, please tweet me at Jacob Jedrzejczyk or contact me. You can find my contact information on my blog, jg09.net.